Okay, let's get right into it. We want to investigate how to solve the equation f of x equals 0 and how to solve the equation f of x equals g of x. You would be absolutely amazed at how important these two questions are. They're everywhere. Whether you realize it or not, you've been solving f of x equals 0 since pre-algebra. And so we want to investigate, okay, how do we do this if we're given a function? Well, I got a little typo here, but the function is 3x squared plus 2x minus 5, that's f, and g of x is 3x plus 5. So, okay, let's solve f of x equals 0. First, I'm going to take 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0, and I'm going to, in this case, factor it. Because of the zero product property, I can then split the factors up because there's a zero here. It only works if there's a zero on the right-hand side. I can split the factors up and write two equations, 3x plus 5 equals zero and x minus 1 equals zero. Solving each equation gives me the two zeros of the function, negative 5 thirds and 1. What technique did we use? Well, this technique was purely algebraic. What if I have f of x equals g of x and I want to solve this? Well, I set the two functions equal to each other, f on the left and g on the right. And then what I do is I subtract g to the other side. So I have f minus g. And that creates a whole new function that we'll call h. So what we've done here is we've created a new function, 3x squared minus x minus h, minus 10. We'll call that h of x and equals to 0. So we're right back to the first question, solve a function equal to 0. In this case, it's not f, it's h that we want to set equal to 0 and solve it. If we can figure out where h is 0, then we will have also solved the question, where does f equal g? And that's the really cool thing about it. So I factor h, I use the zero product property and separate this into two equations. And my answers are negative 5 thirds and 2. And so, by plugging negative 5 thirds into h and getting 0, I've also solved where f of negative 5 thirds equals g of negative 5 thirds. And where h of 2 is equal to 0 also implies, that's what the arrow means, that f of 2 is equal to g of 2. God bless you, wherever you are today.